Welcome back to the award-winning Brad Miller time. Uh, you know, Mario and Brett here once again. Uh, we retook our show. Obviously, we've got to pick our game up, and that's exactly what we're going to do this episode. I think you guys are really going to love this one. Um, first off, I'd like to give a shout-out to uh, Brittany Dvorak, Team Brittany. Uh, I think it's kind of ironic that uh, it's number 22, a.k.a. Brad Malone, and the shirts are orange. So I thought that was very ironic. At Brittany, she uh, was diagnosed with leukemia a couple years ago. She's a 10th grader at uh, Red River High School. She was supposed to go on her Make-A-Wish Foundation trip uh, last week, but she got a little sick, so she couldn't go. So Brittany, me and Brett and all the guys here at UND, we hope you get better, and uh, we hope you feel better. Um, next, the episode. Brett, do you love dogs? I love dogs. Tragic accident. Uh, about a month ago in my family, uh, my dog uh, got attacked by another dog, didn't make it. Um, it was a sad day uh, in my house. I was very uh, distraught for for a while. Um, he was like my brother, so I was, uh, you know, I cried for a few days. It was really tough for me. Um, but I just want to uh, show a picture of my dog, Reggie. He's uh, sitting in a basket there. Um, Reggie is dear to my heart. He's going to be missed forever. Uh, I might get a tattoo of him on me because I loved him so much. And uh, I'll just bring it down. Thanks, Brett. Why don't you tell us what this episode's about? i uh, definitely going to see a little bit more of a sensitive side to Brad Miller time this week. Um, you know, just two summers ago, uh, I had a, an experience... Uh, we had a German Shepherd who we gave to my grandma on her farm in Manitoba, and um, <clears throat> probably I don't know, 10 years ago or so. And uh, two summers ago, her hips really went bad, and she couldn't couldn't move around anymore. So me and my mom had to take her and put her asleep, and I watched the whole thing. And uh, honestly, probably one of the toughest things I ever had to do. And you know, my mom was a warrior, and she was the rock. She was solid the whole time, you know. Um, but me, on the other hand, I was bawling like a baby for probably 45 minutes. The entire 20-minute 20, 20 car ride home, I had to look out the window because I didn't want my mom to see me crying. And then uh, and then even after when we buried her, it was uh, really tough and, and really emotional. And um, So today we're going to talk with some other guys about, you know, their dogs and how much they love them. And man's best friend, um, what a great subject to talk about Um it's the sensitive side of Brad Miller time. You know, we're we're uh, you know athletes, and and we like to think we're tough and stuff like that all the time. But um, today we're gonna gonna get a little soft. We're joined with our first guest, Tate Maris. Tate, great to have you on the show. Good to be here. We're uh, <laughs> we're talking about dogs um, as you were filming the intro. Um, and so why don't you start by telling us uh, the name of your dog, what type of dog it is. Um, I have a dog named Peyton. He's brown and black and white. I don't know exactly what he is. I think part German Shepherd, but um, he's a mutt then. yeah, he's a mutt. Um, he's a good. He's not. He's a, he's a dog though. If you don't mind, you have a beautiful voice, so I'm gonna enjoy this howl for us like your dog. I don't know what kind of dog howls like that, but we'll take it. Thanks for being here, Tate. Okay, what's a special bond that you and your dog have that's uh, kind of funny? Uh, I guess one thing not a lot of dogs will do is when we take the quads out for a spin around the farm, likes to chase them, actually uh, sometimes beats us. It's a pretty quick dog. That's cool. And uh, if you don't mind, uh, would you uh, howl like your dog would? Or bark? Uh, my dog's actually deaf, so it doesn't bark. Sorry. Actually? Yeah. That's kind of... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Thanks, Derek. Yeah, if it did bark, what would it sound like? Uh, it doesn't, so I mean, that'd be lying. Yeah, no, but if it did. bark for us. Woof. Mike, uh, why don't you tell us uh, maybe about a dog in your life, uh, what its name was, and uh, what kind of dog was it? Well, I had a golden retriever. His name was Everest. Yeah, because he was huge. Like he was literally not literally the size of Mount Everest, but if you compared him to all the dogs, he'd probably be the biggest. I like that. Um, what's a special bond or something cool that you and your dog share together? Oh, it was awesome. I remember when I was uh, 
growing up when I used to hang out with them every day, I always I'd always come home from school and I'd get a popsicle or like an ice cream or something, and we'd always share it. And people would always think that was really gross, but me and my dog, we had that kind of bond that it was it was awesome. You guys just went lick for lick. Lick for lick. God, there's nothing more special than that. I could appreciate that. Finally, Mike, uh, can you uh, howl for us or bark for us like your dog would? Well, the funny thing was my dog was really old, so at the end of its time, it lost its bark. So his bark would sound like, because he couldn't actually bark anymore, you know? It's kind of like an old, an old person. I like that. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. We're with our next guest, Jose Star Mangelson. Uh, Jose, why don't you start by telling us uh, <laughs> the name of your dog and what kind of dog it is. I have a Basset Hound, and his name is Herbie. <laughs> nice. Uh, now, maybe you could tell us, you know, everyone has a special bond with their dog. Maybe you could tell us about the special bond that you share or a funny story or something from uh, uh, with your dog. Uh, I, have a lot of, I have a lot of funny stories with Herbie. Uh, I've got a couple. Uh, he hates the mailman, so anytime the mailman comes, he almost tears the door down. Hey, because... <laughs> You th- think I look better with my head shaved? Does that mean you thought I was ugly before? No, I just like you better now. Okay. See ya. Um, do I keep going? Yeah. <laughs> but my favorite thing with Herbie is when he comes in, uh, in high school, after school, I'd always go sit in the same chair. And I'd go sit down, and then he'd come see me. And instead of, like, running and jumping on me or something, he would walk by me just enough and then stop right in front of me so his butt would be placed right in front of me so I would scratch his butt. And he really liked that. Dogs do seem to like to get scratched on their, or, or petted on their, uh, like, hips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, and he, like, pushes into me a little bit. Like, I'll scratch him and he'll push into me harder because he, like, likes, really likes to, to be scratched there. Um, last thing, Jose, uh, could you howl like, like your dog would for us, please? Like Herbie? Like Herbie. Howl like Herbie. A lot of guys have seen Herbie howl. It's pretty good, actually. I have to, like... Show us. You want me to show you? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's like, it kind of, like, builds into it. So let's... Do it! <laughs> Something like that. Ryan, why don't you start off by telling us about a uh, dog you've had in your life and what its name was? Um, well, I've only had one dog my whole life. Uh... Unfortunately, we had to put it down this last summer. Yeah, it was it was terrible. Um, let's see. We found her. She was actually a stray back in like '96, and we had her. She was pro- we figured she was about two at the time, so we just put her down. She was about 14 years old, I think. Um, really old. What was her Daniel. name? Jesse. Jesse, I like that. Kind of like. I don't know any famous Jesse. Je- Uncle Jesse from Full House. Sure, sure, yeah. that works. What's a special bond that you and your dog had? Um, I don't know. I guess my dog really, really didn't like me all that much. It growled at me a lot and stuff. But um, it seemed whenever my mom was like gone, she'd be nice to me. But whenever my mom was around, she was protective of my mom. So. Well, you gotta appreciate that, yeah. don't you? It's respectable. Yeah. Absolutely, taking care of the house, taking care of mom. I like that. And uh, Ryan, if you don't mind. Could you uh, maybe bark or howl for us like you're, like Jesse would? Uh, well, she didn't howl. Like, she, she was a barker, I guess. Okay, what was her bark like? I'm not barking. Come on, bark <laughs> for <laughs> us. I'm not barking. Not everyone. Everyone's doing it. Everyone's doing it. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Roof! <laughs> I like that. Here we are with next guest, Mario Lamru. Mario, uh, why don't you tell us about uh, your dog and what its name was? Well, my dog was a uh, mix between a bass town and a beagle, and his name was Reggie. Mar, why don't you tell us about something funny uh, about your dog that was, you know, special to you? Well, Mar, uh, a funny story about my dog. Uh, we used to put stuffed animals all around the house, and uh, it would actually take the stuffed animals in his mouth, and he would always go upstairs in one of the bedrooms, and he would dig into like a pile a pile of clothes or in a closet or in a basket of something and he would dig deep down and he would hide and I would watch him I would hide he would hide the stuffed animals like in the clothes and then he would take it and uh and he would hide it and then hours later we would find uh you know these animals and stuff it was great 
And finally, I think you could uh, howl for us like uh, old Reggie would. Yeah, sure. Evan, <laughs> <laughs> tell us about uh, what kind of dog you have and what its name is. Uh, well, we got two dogs at uh, the Trump residence. Uh, one is Rico. Uh, plenty of the boys have seen it uh, when they come over. It's just a little stuffed animal, pretty much. But uh, probably the one that we have to take uh, more uh, care of is uh, Dan Crystal. Okay, what's a special bond or what's something funny or something that annoys you about uh, your dog, Dan? I don't know. We got to keep him in line, you know. He's pretty good at fetch, but he doesn't always obey. Uh, sometimes we give him little treats here and there, but not too much. Because, uh, you know, sometimes you can't get to bed at night. That's true. And uh, finally, Evan, why don't, you, uh, why don't you bark or howl for us like Dan would, Dan Christo. <laughs> but. <laughs> but. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. Finally, uh, I'd like to end um, the episode today. Uh, it's kind of an emotional episode for me because uh, it was really sad when we lost uh, my dog. It was, uh, so kind of spent... A lot of class time lately, uh, I wrote a poem for him. Uh, so this is titled, Reggie, My Bro. You first came home with those big floppy ears. You were a strong little man and never shed no tears. You would prance around the backyard like you were the master. And sometimes you'd get a, eat trays of brownies. What a disaster. You would bark at the people walking by to protect the house. But deep down inside, you wouldn't even harm a mouse. In dog heaven, there's probably someone telling you no. But I have no doubt you're running everybody's show. You would protect your sister Lucy because you were so manly. And it didn't take long for you to be part of the family. I'll always miss that loud, distinct howl. And I'm still amazed now. I never once heard you growl. I cried for so long when I had to let you go, but Reg, you'll always be my bro. Reggie, I love you. Uh, I hope you're having a good time in dog heaven, doing, uh, eating anything you want, all the treats. Uh, we're taking care of your sister Lucy down here, and uh, we miss you a lot. I uh, love you, Reg. And uh, finally, Team Brittany shirts. Uh, she's fighting leukemia right now, so leukemia awareness. I uh, just want to give her a shout-out. Thank you.